Let's see, what do we want? Um, dialogue skill, no. Hmm. Damage when alone, walk speed, sprint speed. Not all that useful. XP from companion kills. Eh. TTD restored per kill is useful. Hmm. Vendor buying price. I think I prefer vendor selling price. Consumables weigh less. I think that's going to be good. Let's go with walk speed. I think. Yeah. And that's going to increase. I mean, that's just a utility, right? That's just a utility is all it is. Um, Quote 25 when fatally wounded. Eh, not very useful. Because you get up after a fight and you heal fully after a fight anyway. Let's go with ranged damage for you. And our new friend here. What about you? Increase the lie. <laughs> Just lie better, that's all, and I find that very funny. Um, let's go with health and range damage. And reload time. Yeah, that makes sense to me, I think. Good. So, we're heading... Only place on the planet that don't stink of sulfur. On account of it stinking like fish instead. Am I the only one getting hungry? Uh, probably if the smell of rotting fish is something that excites you. Why am I. Nah, never mind. I don't like the lighting on this planet. Is that is that a weird thing to say? I don't like the lighting. I, I prefer the others we've been to. Okay. Well, I don't know if it's okay. I mean, there's there's a bunch of those things out there. Something tells me they will. Well, I mean, not these ones specifically, because they're not exactly in a position to try much, but you know. Future reference and all that, I suppose. Okay, so we're just going to follow the road, right? So basically, okay. There's going to be a long, long way to Tripperiri. No, there's going to be a long way to where we're going, but... Watch your feet. The sulfur pools don't just stink. They'll take a toe off. Here we go! Keep being you! Get out of there. Crap. No, you're blind, you can't see shit. Sit down. Oh. Um.
Gotcha. Okay, everybody good? Good. Retrofitted heavy power armor. Not good enough. Hmm. Okay, let's take a second here. Okay. Let's, uh, let's keep moving then. Um, well, as I know it's in the other direction. But we're gonna take the long way around. Yeah. I get the feeling most of the things that are happening around this sort of general area happen on the roads, right? Because, I mean, that's toxic. And Mess them up. among other things, there's uh, Shoot it a lot, and often. Like I said, most of the things seem to be happening on the road. So, you know. I think we're going to stick to that. Also, if you lot could heal up, that'd be grand. Now, we've never been this far, have we? At least I don't think so. No vending machine. We don't have a lot to sell. was good that was that was good work applause all round I don't see where the ah, there you are applause all round that was genuinely genuinely good work a bolter pistol I'm gonna take it just to uh, to take a look at it basically um so how does it compare to this? So a bolter pistol has less DPS. It has it does 65 times 3. Whereas this thing does 152. It's magazine size of 18. I want to fire off a few shots with it. Not my style. Not my main pan guns in general are very. I like the look of them, but I prefer long rifles for fairly obvious reasons because style does not increase your your survivability. Actually, quite the opposite most of the time. So as a result, I tend to go the more practical route and. Uh, And I prefer long-range weapons and rifles due to their power, but uh... yeah, I suppose we can sleep here. Slept on board though when when we got here. I don't uh... fancy that. 
all that much. Plus, it's in the middle of bloody nowhere. We're not exactly safe. Um, okay, let's keep... I was gonna say, let's keep going, but instead let's pull back, because there's marauders right there. Okay, good. Good. Now. Behind the rock. Move out of the way. God damn it. Don't mess with us. Exactly. Exactly. Do not mess with us. Go, we can turn that into like a like a, a thing, you know, like a how do you call it? Like a, a Catchphrase or a RMO, you know, huh? Modus operandi, eh? Don't mess with us. We can leave like cards. Think about it. Oh, that, that's I suppose that's a bit of a serial killer thing more than the uh, than anything else. But you know, we we can think about it. Or signs. I suppose that would be more uh, like writings on on on. The road and on, on like we could put up signs that say don't mess with us we're the crew of the unreliable uh, might want to leave that out yes yeah, so I've never been down this road apparently that's mildly amusing okay. Captain, let's talk you want to talk now, okay? Hey, got a favor to ask you. What well, already? If we're out here in the wilderness, anyhow. We might stop in on an old friend of mine. Preferably before we get to Hiram's. It's on the way. Don't worry. Yes. You don't seem the type to run off and get yourself killed, and I could use the help. Um, what do you mean exactly by uh? Well, yeah, th thanks for the compliment, first of all. I'll be up front with you. I hate asking for help. I hate it. Every time I give someone the opportunity to disappoint me, they seem to make it their most immediate goal. But this, what I'm thinking, yeah. it's dangerous. You see, you're not exactly convincing me. <laughs> I'm honored you're asking, and I'm thrilled to accept. That's sarcastic, by the way. Um, what kind of danger are we talking about? Nothing I can't... We can't handle Okay. Let's hear it. I used to run with a band of hunters. Friends. Six of us. We were on Monarch when the corporations pulled out, and we helped a lot of people pick up the pieces. I haven't seen two of them in years, and the rest I know to be dead. I'd like to gather their effects and bury them all in the same places, like the family we once were. Mm. How do you know they're dead? I saw it happen. Hell, one of them was in my arms at the time. Oh. His name was Hayes, and he's our first stop. I buried him away from our encampment. I'll show you where he rests. He had a medallion in his effects. That's what I'll bring home to bury. And after that? Then we find my two lost trackers and bring them home. A long time ago, we built an encampment in one of Monarch's cave systems. Trouble is, a mana queen showed up and kicked us all out. If we can find Rebecca and Anders, they'll know how to lure her out. Then, we kill the bitch and bury everyone's medallions together. Right. We're gonna have to kill a manta queen. Oh, yes. I can't wait. 
So the six of you couldn't kill it. So the plan is now the four of us are going to kill it. Five. And the six of you were hunters. Specifically trained and attempting to murder. What was, I, what was I saying? Specifically trained to hunt wildlife and, and, and animals of all sorts, I'm assuming. And now you're thinking that when there's fewer of us and probably more of the Manticween with, you know, basically what I'm assuming is she has, like, her young around her or whatever. I think that's a... How did I not notice that I've acquired a top hat? How did this 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 somehow? Went just just completely over my head, ironically speaking. Huh. Well, first of all, obviously we're keeping it. Second of all, I might want to get into some more... How should I put it? Combat-oriented gear. How should I say that? Isn't this better? Plus three inspiration. It's cooler, if nothing else. But yeah. Top hat and the sleek looking suit. When we're inside a town. This, when we're out hunting manticweens for some bloody for God's forsaken reason. Um, now, we're going here, right? You said it's along, it's not along the way, it's further away from the, ugh. No, we're going to do this first and then that's, it's a detour, it's not exactly along the way, but I understand what you meant, okay, well. It's nearby, okay? It's not along the way. Huge difference. It's nearby. Amber Heights Crossroad. Amber Heights. Right. Is this the sort of place where I need to put on my top hat or find additional and better armor? Now, I suppose there's one way to find out, right? <laughs> Judging by the fact that the people are looking at us somewhat strangely, but not shooting, I take it this is a top hat situation. Hmm, a top hat situation. I like that very, very much. Um, don't need the plasma carbine. I'm going to sell this, I think. Because somehow this is better. 130 damage, 75 damage, less DPS. Yeah, this this is just better, right? I mean, this does poison damage, but... Eh. Yeah, I'm going to sell it. Uh, I'm going to break this down because I don't need it. This, though, is interesting. 204 damage. This 
does a lot more damage than the Deadeye Assault Rifle. I'll think about it. Anyways, where was I? Yes, I'll... Well, hello, and welcome to the home of the Iconoclasts. I'm Rose. Please, take a pamphlet. Oh. In it, you'll find everything you need to know about Graham, his philosophy's truths, and the Iconoclast way. He wrote it himself, you know? Oh, oh no, I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting we're out of pamphlets. Gosh, blast it. Uh... Who are the Iconoclasts again? Why, we're the only free people in Halcyon. No corporations, no shackles, no problems. Okay, I'm with you so, what, so far. What about Raptodons or Marauders? Oh, those are just hurdles. We deal with them as they come. You're right. welcome to stay with us, so long as you can earn your keep. Um, before I go, I'm looking for a Tucker. Have you seen him? The new boy. Yes, he's quite clever. He took to our teachings very quickly. Last I saw him, he was headed into one of the buildings up the hill. Right. Uh, excuse me for a second. Whilst I change. Right. Good day to you fellow humans. <laughs> Welcome to the Emporium. I'm Bronson. Emporium. Interesting. I am Jeffrey. You run a store out here? It ain't really a store. Think of me more like a quartermaster. And a chef. And a handyman. And whatever else we need. Right. Right. You can fix things around here? Oh, sure. Sulfur ain't so good on metals, and replacing parts is expensive. So we fix things till we can't. Sensible. Sensible. Very much sensible. Um... Okay, let's see what you have. Uh, cowboy hats, not really my thing. Anti-riot gear. That's actually kind of okay. Heavy grade face mask. Hmm. <laughs> That's just funny looking. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Um. Oh, that's an armor mod, right. Um, see, I sort of want to sell you a few things I've got. But, uh, suppose weight isn't necessarily a problem right now, so I'll do that later. Um, I think I want to sell some of these. Like, I definitely want to... Well, I don't want to sell it. I want to break this down. And I'm going to break this down, too. And I might as well break this down, because it's useless. Good. Good. There we go. Um, repair all equipped. 14 weapon parts and 6 armor parts. I'm okay with that. Uh, good. Good. Now, then... Interesting. I ought to mention, the Iconoclasts are loyal folk. Treat them right, they'll do the same. Turn on them, they'll open fire without a second thought. Oh, so you're okay with them? I mean, you as, as in the other city. I thought you would be sort of, I don't know, a little bit... Well, I don't know why I assume that, but I, for, I, for some reason I thought that, you know... Maybe you'll have some sort of uh, rivalry with them or something. 
I don't know really why I thought that. It's just, just, no, nah, I don't know. Don't really have a good, uh, good explanation. Tell you what, why don't we spend most of our money? Tinkering. And repairing. Um, the thing is, we can tinker with the armor as well, which is uh, an interesting thing indeed. And I can modify the armor as well. Huh. I'll do that on the ship later. I think. But yeah, basically what I need to do is a uh, whoa is uh, tinker with all the armor and all the weapons of my companions and the rest of the crew as well, because that's uh, that's pretty darn important too. Okay, anything? Special around here. Hello. Ever seen you before? Yeah, I'm new here. Take my advice. Move on. Get off world if you can. If you can't, get to the bay. I've been halfway around T1. <laughs> Monarch, they call it now. Been around it twice. Sit at the hot pole and the cold. Nothing on this moon for nobody. There's a lot of heartbreak. What's your story? It's pretty simple, kid. I sit at the bar, I drink, I mind my own business. That's it. A pack of I'll drink you. No. Uh, that, that's a no. Um, I've ever heard somebody saying you were the best to ask about the real monarch. Whoever said that must have been lying. Or maybe they was drunk. I don't know nothing a dozen better folk can tell you. Look, you want to buy the drinks? I'll do my bit to keep you entertained. Just don't ask me to dance. No, I'm just, um... I can't repay no kindnesses now. All right, so... I reckon just looking for info. the most info. interesting places I've been is the hot pole. You know what that is? Um, it's the hottest place on the Monarch. Probably the closest to the Olympus. Exactly. This moon ain't big enough to rotate. It's locked. One side always facing Olympus, the other always facing away. Olympus might not be a star, but it throws off ass loads of heat. Monarch's hot pole is the part that's closest to the gas giant. It's in the middle of this big mountain plateau. Volcanoes so high the peaks are in space. Hmm. So it's hot, it's high, and there's nowhere, or not much. Nice views, though. The funny thing is, then in the middle there's just smooth rock. Circular-like. All the dust blown away. Pale grey with hair-fine cracks all over. I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe I was lightheaded from the O2. But I felt like I had to take off the breather for a moment, put my ear to the ground. It's hard enough to boil water and you put your ear against a rock. I did get a burn on the low before I smartened up. Put a towel under me. It was at the edge of hearing. Deep down. Far off. Irregular. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. The sound of a bird pecking out of a shell. Well, that's fucking terrifying. Ground quake now. I hold my breath. 
Because I don't know if it's Olympus squeezing us for gravity, or wings getting stretched. Interesting. Um... Actually, no, it's not interesting. It's bloody terrifying, but... Yeah. Huh. I shipped with a Merc who had a gun like yours, Nyoka. He... Now I'm just, just sort of thinking, what the hell is it? It's like, probably a creature? I mean, most planets I go to, there's just stuff that wants to kill you. Giant lizards, giant birds, giant ants, giant walruses, doesn't matter. They're all frenzied and they all want to murder you. Off the road and down this slope. We've got a decent truck ahead of us. No, um... Mantisaurus, lovely. See? Now, there's giant friggin... Spitting at me. It's highly rude. Someone highly unnecessary. Up, yeah, sure, whatever you said, yeah, sure. That. Um let's reload the guns. Also try out the sniper rifle that I've just modified. And I really need to find some armor and stick to it. I, I think the way forward from here on out is we find some gear that we like, be it a sniper rifle, a pistol, a top hat or whatever. And we just upgrade it ourselves, right? Rather than finding, or more specifically hoping to find. This is new. The way the edges are burnt, I guess people did this. Not the wires. Ah. Right. So somebody... blew the bridge. They also made the wreck of it a ghost, apparently, that has no physical properties whatsoever. And I get the feeling that, uh, you know, we could have been told this before. We actually tried to touch it, but it doesn't matter. Okay, that's, that's immersion breaking. Really? No hitbox on that thing? Really? Painful display from the developers, but okay, fine. And this is with all the updates and everything. Ugh. Back in character. Back in character. Let's go. South here, off the road and down this slope. I mean, a strong sense of deja vu right now. No, it's it's kind of what you where you're describing it to be, but not entirely. I cry. Right, good shooting, good shooting. Stop hitting my... They won't try that again. Well, they might, you know. Like I said, you say that every time. And yet, we keep getting attacked, so... Really, I think it's a... Uh... A bit silly now, but yeah, I get the point. Um, really should start shooting these containers more often. I think that'll, that'll um, 
help with future engagements. Not that we seem to be doing all too badly. But yeah, somebody blew the bridge. This, this is new. The way the edges are burnt, I guess people did this, not the wires. Yeah, uh, how does that change my plan, though? Pretty much. There's a guy over there, and I'm not sure whether I should shoot him or not. Probably not until we, you know... Try and have a conversation with him. I think we can go over there as well. Now, there is a saying about curiosity and the cat. But I seem to have momentarily forgotten how it... Never mind, I just remembered. I just remembered. Oh. Crap. Crap. Okay. Oh. Also. Better armor for crying out loud. Now, um... Which one of these? Okay, I don't need this up here. I need the anti-venom thing. No, it's not this. Uh, one of these things was an anti-venom... What's-its-face? Not that either. Some fags, some soda, no, none of these. I guess that's kind of what I'm looking for. But I only had one of these. Eh. Okay. Never mind then, I suppose. Anybody see any more mines? Yell. Bit close for comfort, but... We're good. Um, where the hell am I even going? I'm going to get there. There being my destination by off-roading, aren't I? As I always do. I'm going to annoy the living bejesus out of myself. Mind you, I'm complaining, because that's sort of what I do always, but this is no more or less dangerous than... Please, you don't have to do this. Just let us down from here. The humidity is really uncomfortable. Ah. Fellow scientists, this makes the trip worth it. Now, look out. Sorry to say this. 
you're not looking out anymore. See? Okay, who's next? Sort of guard down there. Really wasn't worth taking out the, uh, the thing for. Someone else will clean this up, right? Got him. Yeah. Also, ow. I didn't mean what I said about your outfit. It's very fashionable. I swear. Oh, I'd see to see that again. What, a scientist getting murdered? Is, is that what you pay for? Take everything. <laughs> okay, we picked up a weapon. I'm curious about that. Light machine gun. Uh, it's not even worth. I suppose I can sell it. We can break it down too, but. Eh. Thank you! Okay, um, there's a guy with a flamethrower out there in case you couldn't tell from the fact that I'm on bloody fire. There's something very poetic about him being killed this way. Not quite sure what, but, you know, we can figure it out later when we think about it. Face mask, block of carbine, not worth it. Um, we ever going to find any weapon that's like, whoa, you know, that's awesome, we need to have it. Because I think we've sort of gone through them all, if you know what I mean. Like... Pretty much anything we find nowadays is like, eh, you know, it's cool, but I think I'll just break it down for parts. Which I'm not complaining about. You know, it's, it's good. It's, uh, it's good. It's just, uh, eh. Oh. Well, as I say that. Two new helmets. Standard troop helmet. Light armor with 29 armor points. What's the point of me having this then? Medium armor inspiration plus three. This is persuade plus three. And this is medium armor handguns plus three. This is definitely the best one. And it looks goofy. This one looks even goofier. Yeah. So there's no real point in me keeping this. Sell. So and sell. This is the armor we're going with. And when we're outside of combat, obviously, we're going with this light armor because of its dialogue skill capabilities. And sneaking, right? Yes! So this is perfect for outside of combat. Yeah. We're good, we're good. I like this. I like this very, very much. So far, so good. Uh, Sabre is... I suppose it's alright. 
And I suppose this is alright too, we can sell it. Pick up, knock you out bar. Oh, I thought that was like a notice something, it's just a bloody chocolate bar. Also, we have a metric ton of ammo. Can't help but think that's due to the type of weapons we use. We don't use any machine guns or anything that's bound to use up a lot of armor. That's a lot of armor, a lot of ammo, even. On my way. If we end up having to come back here, research data. Mostly non-lethal cloud, uh, cloud. Mostly non-lethal crowd control gas. Interesting. Huh. Amusing. Okay. Sort of shotgun mark two. That's a lot of DPS. I might... It's not my thing, because I usually stay in the back, right? But I think one of you might like it. How about this instead of the, uh... Instead of the melee weapon. No, not a fan of that, are we? Mind you, 68, 158 DPS. 115, 233 DPS. Yeah, you're sticking with that. Because I don't think the poison does that much damage. And as far as the close range weapons concerned. Yeah, you're alright. I'm, I'm gonna keep this around. I'm gonna keep that around. Um, but I will add that to junk because I can sell it. Good. So, we've looted everything here. There's also a terminal pocket watch instrument or uh, ordnance control helmet gold. Would either of you Probably not, eh? Yeah. I'll find you some armor, I swear. You know, like, in a bit. Um, until I do, you're gonna look a little bit goofy, though. UDL Lab Weapons Terminal Keycard. Where would I find such a thing? I do not know. Big cartridge spectrum vodka. Can't, uh, cannot hack that. Another dead eye assault rifle. Super Scoper 2000. It sounds like something I would make as a joke. Like that and the Not a Penize 3000, the uh, two pillars of modern weaponry. But apparently it's a real thing. Now, 
I saw this on the map. It's a gate of sorts. Can I go through it and why not? Can I hack it maybe? Oh no, I just need to unseal the door. Amusing. Quite. Amusing. Got the drop on us. Nice work. No, they don't. You said they've got the drop on us. Are you are you paying attention? No, they don't. In no universe do they have the drop on us. Does that mean my weapon's nearly broken? Well, nearly's a bit... You really going to give me a warning about my weapon's durability on that sort of level? That's... Weird. But alright, um... Might be something down here. Huh. I mean, you know, not really, but I don't regret coming down here if that's the uh, if that's in question. Ooh. More boxes. Okay. Yeah, it was worth coming down here. I'm pretty happy with this. Okay. Again with the terrible lighting and the horrible weather, but eh, okay. So, pretty much unintentionally, we found a shortcut to where we're going, at least I think we found the shortcut. Okay, I blinded it. Not gonna lie, you look a little bit terrifying now. And that, that can only be a good thing. So, we kind of more or less desperately need the, uh... Assault Rifle Ultra. I am more than curious as to what that is. Also, fitting that the moment I can, I start complaining about. Ooh, the vermin! Yeah, I've got that one. The moment I start complaining about us not getting enough new amazing weapons that I want to use at all times, etc., etc., blah blah, we start getting new and awesome weapons I want to use at all times, which you know. So it's a long gun. 82 damage, magazine size 20 food, 24 heavy and staggers opponents. Okay, so this is like your medium range weapon, so there's a person of interest right there and you go. This thing has no recoil. I really like it. But I've spent like 10,000 credits upgrading the plasma rifle. I 
a well. 10,000 credits I would have spent one way or another, right? Um... I think I'm gonna have a disagreement with the map here for a second. Because, uh... Yeah, we're, we're definitely gonna have an argument with the map. Unless there's a way for me to climb up on this... ...ridge and continue, which there isn't. The absolute lying piece. Look, because you're on this thing, you assume that this is sort of the same height, right? Topographically speaking. And that you can sort of go, you know, from there to there and on to wherever you need to go. No, 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 no. There's a huge freaking ridge right there. But the, the, there's a ridge here as well, and, and it's not showing it. And then you're like, all right, I'll get onto that. No, nope, there's an even bigger ridge right there. You're not on the freaking. I just, just want to make absolutely sure that. Okay, that's dead. I just want to make absolutely sure that I'm not being stupid and that there's no way to climb that thing. Nope, there is no way to get up on that thing. Okay, we're going around... Around. Yeah, we're going around the shortcut that we found. Which, turns out, is not a shortcut. Two Manta Pillars and a Marauder Thug, and nothing on them. This is extremely annoying! Okay. I guess we're going around, around, around then. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> 